Hi guys, so today I'll make a small comparison between the three file formats that we can use when exporting images from Twinmotion, okay? I've rendered this static image or this still image using this exact render settings. It spots raising, 128 samples per pixel, it bounces, denoiser, it's also a 4K image and the only thing I changed between the three sets is the file format PNG, JPG and EXR. I have this image already loaded here in GIMP so we can compare it, okay? What I will do is hide or um, unhide the different elements so we can compare it uh, very quickly. At first gl glance, the difference between JPG and PNG it's almost non-existent. Can you see any difference? I really can't. However, if we get closer, especially to those parts of the image that contain these type of borders and small elements like here with these, with these flowers, we will notice there's indeed a difference in quality. Okay? So, if I... This is the JPG image. If I hide it, we can see the PNG and the quality improves, okay? Only by changing the file format. You can see it around here in the edges of this plant. Take a look here, take a look here. I unhide the JPG and it looks much cleaner, much nicer in PNG. And what about EXR? Let's unhide this PNG. And the quality looks quite the same, almost identical. However, there's a difference here in how the image looks. Can you see it? These two look in a certain way, and the EXR looks completely different. And the reason for this, I'm gonna head to the twin motion documentation. You will see uh, some characteristics of the different output file formats that you can use and the important thing here is that EXR are high dynamic range bitmap file and this warning that you see here color gradients are not applied to exported EXR files so especially what this means is that when you export an image using EXR I'm going to head here to the effects settings the loot settings are not applied and some other configuration from post processing okay this is very important for you to keep in mind because it, this doesn't mean that the exr image file format does not work but it does not contain this type of settings and especially this exr file format is ideal for post-production editing in graphic applications so you take this exr file and post produce it on another software like photoshop like gimp etc after effects whatever you want okay so in case you want a final image right from twin motion the best file formats are png and jpg as you notice already the image quality looking at the first glance it's like the same if we get really close to the image we can notice there's indeed a difference png looks much nicer much much cleaner you might say yeah png it's best i will use it for whatever i need because it looks better but there's something else you need to keep in mind so let's check the three files here in the file explorer the thing you need to keep in mind and the thing that causes this quality difference is the file size okay if we check here the png image it's almost 12 or 13 megabytes and the jpg image is only one megabyte okay and the reason for this is we can see it here in the twin motion documentation png is a compressed image using lossless compression this results in file size larger than JPGs, but without any data loss. And JPG 
are compressed using Lucy compression, which results in a smaller file size than PNG, but with some data loss, okay? As you can see, the great advantage of using JPG is you will have a much smaller size. If you're rendering an image sequence, I mean an animation, a video that has uh, a thousand frames, well, it, you will have a thousand frames, a thousand images of one megabyte, or will you have a thousand images with uh, 12 megabytes? It all depends on the needs of your project, but it's important that you, you, you know this, so you select the correct file format for what you need. This also probably is you will display this image in a much larger screen, in a much larger uh, screen or device. Well, probably you will like to have this increased quality because you are, you're losing some details with the Lucy compression from the JPG. But if you are showing this on a cell phone device, probably this gain in quality is not enough to compensate the loss that we have here, here or, or, or the gain that we are also having in the file size of the image. Okay, so these are all things that you need to keep in mind. There is not a perfect file format for all projects. It all depends on what you're doing and what you're working on. And well, EXR, as you can see, it's also a very large file. Nonetheless, I hope this video helps you and if you want to learn more about Twinmotion, you can check the next video that's coming right now.